Jeez, some pretty tough enemies here. Um, but uh, we really shouldn't have a problem down here, so. If you've gone through Sweeken the Tactics, um, or at least partially, uh, I threw my last play on. Um, yeah, this music is really familiar, so. Try to be getting the uh, non consequential stuff out of the way first. So. Okay, we have new enemies here. Spectral leaves. Um, pretty much like uh, we deal with all the rest of the leaves throughout uh, the game, so. Because they do tend to show up in a pretty strong or pretty large group, I should say, so. And on Jean, I gave her uh, the extra skunk room that I had because I, her left hand finally opened up for me, so. Protect some of that. I thought that they could have. And eventually, um, well, after my grinding session, um, I am going to be getting rid of the rune on, or fire rune on, uh, the girl's hand, so. I get rid of it now, but um, I still have some use for it. So. Yeah, boom, dead ends. There are some pretty nifty treasures down here, though. Four spectral leaves, and uh, one of them get a really good hit on uh, on Jean there and killed her. So, three spectral leaves, and uh, well, they did the same thing with Maxine. So. Not going to be accompanying that on anybody right now, so. I guess I could as uh, more powerful armor and stuff, but. Not going to be doing it right now, so. Maybe before my next boss boss. Four spectral leaves. Be sure and get uh, all the stuff out of here out of the way that I can. So, don't think there's anything north of me. Okay. I think there is a uh, to the west. Four spectral leaves. Yeah, got a, how difficult the camera was to control down here. Okay, we have new enemies. The furball. 
I found the electric furball because I, well, basically we've run into different types of furballs throughout the game, so. Not an extreme amount of pots or anything in here, but... At least I think so, so... Sliding door. All of these things, uh, like the sliding door, uh, they're pretty much crap. Um, eventually, when we uh, get Pola, she will uh, decorate a room, but uh, for for practical purposes, uh, it really doesn't have a purpose. Um, it's more just aesthetic, so. And as I said, uh, we only have to go through here once, so... I don't think there's anything up here, but... Okay, we have a new enemy here, the Poison Bird. Um, these are probably the easiest things to beat down here, I think. Because I... Usually they don't show up in a very big groups or anything, so... Like, maybe one or two of them, so... I think on the rare occasion they do... Oh, okay, there is... I do think on the rare occasion they will show up at freeze, but... That... I think I'll equip a Great Earth on somebody too, so... I thought I would have something like mittens or whatever, but... Yeah... No, maybe not. Three electric fur balls. This is the one I don't think there's. Well. Six electric fur balls.
three electric fur balls. A poison bird. I thought there was uh, something over here with Marilyn might set. E poison bird. I think that decision coming up is gonna be the last. Pretty sure of it. Okay. To the right of here is the boss. Um, can't see it or anything, but uh, it's basically on that staircase. So it's kind of invisible. Um, Normally, I would put on the uh, Earth Armor because it's called the Land Dragon, but... Let's see... Two Poison Birds. Okay, so that's what the second camera says. Okay, we have a new enemy here. The Ogre Frog. And let's see. I would uh, just use uh, its death. I guess it, uh, or at least try to, uh, with the hero, but I think I'll, uh, try and take these things down, so. This one might work too, but might not. At least it'll cause damage, so. Just an, just an ogre frog. Hmm. And it doesn't look like anything's here, so. None here either. Oh well. Well, when I uh, get back to a ship, I'll drop uh, what the canvas has too, so. It doesn't really change what your ship looks like a lot, but. Three spectral leaves. Let's see how much healing I'm gonna have to do up before the boss or so. Two ogre frogs and they just had to uh, run away. So. Let's see. I think I can leave Jean if she is.
Yeah, here's the land dragon, so... You would think that because it's a boss this late in the game that you with a whole bunch in the way of potch, but really it's not. Yeah, just 8,000 potch. Not really worth it. I don't know why they say just uh, keep coming in here over and over and over and you uh, should be able to fight it and beat it, but at least it's pretty quick, but because it usually takes me quite a while to get down here. So. He's got really good runes. Um, he's got uh, the Falling Rune and the Mother Earth Rune, so... I might possibly use him uh, in the end battle, but uh, most likely not. Um, well, he doesn't have the runes to do much uh, versus the final bosses, and uh, plus I want to keep him around for the ships because um, he's got like a 60 on Earth rune cannon, so... Okay, and if you played uh, Swinkin Tactics, um, you know that there's a little uh, place here behind that fireplace. This is where he actually made his rune cannon shells. So. Well, rune cannon shells got made, so... I don't know if you could say technically he did it or not, so... And there's uh, one of our old books, so... Okay, what I am going to do is, uh, I'm going to rest, um, 
Then what I will do is uh, I will meet you on the fifth floor. Um, ready to uh, actually give my uh, um, canvas and uh, ocean rune pieces to um, the shipwright. So, well, which is Tob. So, um, I will be right back. Okay, I'm here in the shipwright room. As you can tell, uh, really there isn't a whole bunch of difference between, uh, well, one and two here, so. So, I'm probably just gonna leave it as uh, the first one, so. Yep, they give all five to really upgrade anything, so. Oh, okay. Jeez. I thought, uh, I thought mobility was, uh, you can take as, uh, um, five each, like, a uh, shooting distance, but, yeah, that'll help with a whole bunch, so. Okay. I probably won't, uh, have it as, uh, Three and two on the Dauntless in my uh, real estate file that I'm uh, grinding for levels with people, but. <sighs> we'll see if I can uh, take him off, too, so. Okay, so I can. Okay, now, now to go up and see Deborah, so. I should uh, show this off first. Wrong one. Oh well. I was gonna say, uh, Mal's room, um, even though it looks like our mushrooms are ready, um, He's just gonna tell us, uh, no, they're not ready. I don't know how much more, uh, how much more they have to do, but... Because they look pretty ripe to me, you would. You know, that's Warlock's old house. Usually, uh, I gotta talk to Oscar at least twice. Because even though she says the exact same thing, um, it does not seem to go through at least a lot of times, so... 
um, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to warp uh, over the middle port. Um, then I'll meet you uh, right before I get into the empty house. If Pacola is not there this time, um, I have another save file where I'll just load that thing up and uh, do it from there because uh, we're at least show her thing off. Uh, because like Gal and uh, Hiramane and Getsu and stuff like that, um, There is a lot of times that uh, she doesn't show up right away. Um, I've read that, um, well, you, you just uh, got to give her a little bit of time uh, after you uh, pick a warlock, but, you know, well, how long, you know? Plus, um, make sure that you've gotten the design book from a... Uh, one of the people uh, to the right of um, uh, the inn. So, uh, anyways, um, I'll uh, just meet you right before, um, right before I go in the door there. So, um, I will be right back.